This is a bit of an involved equation. We have four different things on the product side. Let's see what we can do. The key is really going to be counting things up carefully. So let's count the atoms up on each side and then balance the equation. We have 1 Mg, 2 Cls, 1 Na, 1 H, 1 C, and 3 Os. Over on the product side, we have 1 Mg, and then Cls, we have 1, sodiums, we have 1, hydrogens, we have 2, and then with the carbon, be careful, you have 1 right here, plus you have the 1 here. That gives you 2, and then oxygens, you have 3 plus 1 plus 2, so you have 6 oxygen atoms. Okay, let's leave the oxygens till last. Why don't we start by balancing the chlorines? We could put a 2 in front of the NaCl, 1 times 2, that would give us 2 Na's, but for the Cl, 1 times 2, that would give us 2 Cl's, so we've balanced the Cl's. Why don't we fix the sodiums here? We have 2 here and 1 here. We could put a 2 in front of the sodium bicarbonate. We'd have 1 times 2, that would give us 2 sodiums, those are balanced. 1 times 2 for the hydrogen, that balances the hydrogens. For the carbon here, we have 1 times 2. That'll give us two carbons, and then finally the oxygens, three times two. That'll give us six oxygens, and everything is the same on both sides of the equation. So this equation is balanced. Where people tend to have problems, we're counting a lot of things here, and we have things like carbon here and here, or oxygen in three places. Make sure you count those up carefully to balance this equation. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for MgCl2 plus NaHCO3. Thanks for watching.